You are online, Chantanda. A very good morning okay. to all present with us today uh, for 10 lectures of International Parts of okay. Technology uh, and Techniques. The tremendous energy shown by both our speakers and the participants have been the hallmark of IBW GST. I'm sure each and every one of the participants are benefit, benefiting from the knowledge dissipation from several eminent speakers. I'd like to repeat that each of the lecture session was attended by at least 800 participants with agile and interactive participation. May I request all of you to keep the speed up. For those who could not attend the previous lectures, we have recorded the entire session and uploaded it in the official YouTube channel of our institute, that is CSIR SRP. Today's lecture shall be presented by Professor Mehdi Jare from International Institute of Earthquake Engineering and Seismology, IIES, Iran. The title of his lecture is, Why does seismic hazard zoning maps are uncertain and should be revised using new seismic source modeling? But before that, may I request our session chairperson, Professor G.R. Kai, for his initial remarks. Over to Professor G.R. Kai. Thank you, Santanu. Thank you so much. Very good morning to my very good friend, Professor Mehdi Jare. You are so much welcome to this platform. Cordially welcome. I know Professor Jare since early 2000, maybe before, since late 1919 or 1988, in 1998. We have worked for more than a decade. <coughs> under the USGS UNESCO umbrella. And Professor Jare was one of our most knowledgeable, dynamic, you know, <coughs> participants who always used to reach us with his enormous knowledge and experience, particularly on Iran earthquakes. Yes, Professor Jare, I'm so glad to see you in this platform. We look forward to your excellent lecture. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you again. Over to Dr. Santanu. May I now request our co-session chairperson, Dr. Sarupura, for his initial opinion. Honorable Chair Professor J.R. Kayal, today's guest of honor, our lecture, lecturer, Professor Mehdi Jare, and the convener, Dr. Santanu, and dear participants. It indeed pleasure for CS Northeast Institute of yes. Science and Technology uh, to invite Thank Professor Jare to this forum of workshops, international workshop of global seismology. Professor Jari has contributed immensely towards the seismic hazard zoning map of uh, Iran. And the, his, his, he has contributed really in a very big way to the BAM earthquake scenario. And from BAM earthquake scenario, what the lesson we have to learn that he has replicated in Iran populous cities of Iran through the approach of seismic hazard assessment. To today's topic is very important pertinent to the estimation of seismic hazard assessment. First, we have what is the source? Is based, what is the source characterization? Whatever the source characterization we are doing, is it really a realistic one? So he has really touched upon a very important topic, new seismic source modeling. So we are really eager to hear from Professor Jare. We are really fortunate to have with, uh, to have him in this forum today. With that initial remark, 
I hand over the platform to Dr. Shantanu. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, may I request Dr. Gautam Borwa to read out the biota of Professor Zari. Over to Dr. Gautam. Thank you very much. I am delighted to read out the biota of Professor Mehdi Zari. So here it is. He is a professor of engineering and small engineering seismology at International Institute of Earthquake Engineering and Seismology, Tehran, Iran. His area of expertise includes seismic hazard analysis, seismic hazard zoning, applied geophysics, seismology, strong ground motion seismology, seismic risk analysis, seismotectonics, disaster risk management and uncertainties, crisis management, and aftermaths of natural disasters, amongst the others. Before joining WIWES, Professor Jarez served as adjacent professor at Mining Engineering Department, Faculty of Engineering, University of Tehran, Iran and uh, Disaster Emergency Health Academy, IR Iran National Institute of Health Research, Tehran University of Medical Sciences, Tehran, Iran. He pursued and completed his PhD in Engineering and Seismology from Joseph Fourier University, Grenoble, France, March in the year 1999. Professor Zara has authored more than 60 papers in the journal so of uh, international repute. He has served, supervised 11 PhD students, including international students, and presently four students are pursuing PhD under his supervision. He has also served as the director of Seismological Research Center in WIWES, Vice President of Research and Technology at WWS, Director of National Center for Earthquake Prediction, and Director of Engineering Seismology Department, WWS. Here and request Professor Zare for his lecture. Thank you, sir. Over to Professor Zare. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, my voice is okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Please go ahead. Sir. Okay, and therefore I uh, start. Thank you very much for your uh, invitation and uh, kind uh, welcome and uh, uh, introducing me in a very uh, kindly, kindly way. And I am uh, very uh, homesick for my great uh, friend and professor uh, Kayal. Uh, who is uh, a real scientist in my point of view and most important, uh, a real man and a real human. Uh, this uh, is uh, my presentation that I uh, start from. Uh, I hope that you now I, uh, I will switch off my video uh, webcam uh, in order to have a better uh, connection. And uh, now I go uh, to my first slide uh, in order. Uh, are you seeing uh, my slide actually? Yes, we can see your slide. Yes. Oh, OK, OK. Um, as you uh, you see in the uh, title of my uh, presentation, it is about uh, the uncertainty in the seismic hazard maps and uh, the importance of uh, uh, revision in such maps because uh, there are uh, always uh, deficiencies in the published maps, um, especially after the earthquakes. Uh, most of you, sorry. Is it okay? Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, yes, sir, it is okay. You, it's okay. Okay, uh, if uh, you look, at the methods and approaches, most of you, uh, I am sure that you know about uh, the uh, 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 the approaches and the, the methods in uh, seismic hazard uh, analysis. The uh, seismic hazard, uh, uh, time independent seismic hazard analysis and uh, time dependent seismic hazard analysis, which is recently uh, have been used and two approaches of deterministic and uh, probabilistic seismic hazard, hazard analysis, uh, which are very common in use. And most recently, the, uh, the uh, method uh, 
uh, which is named neodeterministic, which is incorporating uh, due to uh, better uh, knowledge on uh, uh, um, fault geometry and uh, uh, seismicity data in order to model the, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, existing uh, uh, information about, uh, about the faults. Uh, uh, in the models. Uh, the steps are very classical from uh, in the deterministic seismic hazard analysis uh, in which uh, the, we take a maximal uh, view, uh, a maximal estimation on uh, the magnitude of uh, earthquake uh, source, uh, lowest distance from source to site, and uh, greatest or mean value of uh, peak acceleration or intensity uh, in uh, the, uh, the hazard assessment. And uh, due to uh, uh, um, applying the attenuation models, we obtain the maximum values, the maximum values of possible ground motion. Um, in, it is very few, frequent to use the um, acceleration as a ground motion uh, parameter. But uh, for probabilistic seismic hazard analysis, uh, uh, the, the methodology is similar, uh, which uh, we use uh, from, uh, uh, we take the sources from uh, line source to area uh, sources. In the area sources, we take uh, uh, the information, we model the information of seismicity, which we may not uh, assign to a specific fault, uh, and uh, based on the, the data uh, that uh, uh, might be observed around a, a fault zone, we take uh, uh, such a, uh, a model uh, as uh, the, uh, an aerial source, Therefore, we accept a level of uh, uh, um, um, uh, uh, not to be uh, very precise in order to uh, uh, obtain a more realistic uh, model. Uh, then we take the seismicity rate for each seismic source. Uh, in the third step, we, we calculate uh, the uh, uncertainties for all three parameter, major parameters, such as magnitude, we take the, from threshold magnitude to maximum magnitude, in distance uh, uh, from lowest possible to greatest possible distance between sunlight uh, to a seismic. Uh, to, uh, ground motion of uh, different ground motion uh, parameters uh, as uh, 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 we develop the uh, hazard curve. Uh, but there are always the deficiencies in, in uh, seismic hazard uh, maps. Uh, one is the author, uh, in, uh, at all 2012 in Technophysics Journal. Uh, he and his uh, colleagues has explained that uh, we, the, the, if, uh, the factor of errors in seismic hazard maps might be resulted from bad physics, incorrect uh, physical models, um, uh, on faulting process, bad assumptions, the assumptions about uh, which uh, uh, faults are present, which are active, how fast they are accum accumulating strain, uh, bad data, lacking, incorporate, incomplete or misinterpreted data uh, about earthquake recurrence, and uh, bad luck, uh, uh, the occurrence of a very rare event, like a black swan, uh, and I can give you a very uh, 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 non-value 
um, example as uh, uh, Toko Sendai earthquake in Japan it was really a, a great um, earthquake uh, in an um, it was expected to be as big as uh, happened. Uh, as I have explained, in no deterministic approach, very recently uh, uh, we try to uh, uh, include the fault geometry and uh, focal mechanism for each uh, source uh, in order to uh, uh, synthetic uh, seismograms for vertical component um, and uh, using these simulations to extract our uh, uh, the, uh, the values that we um, um, expect uh, uh, to to have um, as the seismic hazard uh, uh, level. Uh, these are some examples of national hazard maps uh, uh, for which they, uh, they, uh, there has been uh, the occurrence of uh, an earthquake uh, after the publication of uh, these maps and uh, it, uh, 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 the, the level of um, hazard has not been uh, evaluated um, properly. Uh, I can uh, at which the Tokos and the earthquake uh, happened in 2011 and you may see on the map that uh, in that region uh, the hazard event was not uh, uh, recorded, uh, uh, it was not estimated uh, proper, uh, properly and in Italy in 2015 there has been uh, uh, the map uh, uh, of uh, seismic hazard uh, uh, zoning and uh, the location of Amatrice earthquake in uh, October 2016 with a magnitude 6.2 well, has been in a region uh, in which uh, 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 moderate uh, hazard level has been uh, expected. Uh, the other examples from Turkey from New Zealand uh, published maps and the occurrence of uh, the earthquakes afterward, for instance, in Turkey in 2020 and in New Zealand in uh, in the same year, 2010 and 2011, uh, uh, represent the values of uh, recorded uh, uh, ground motions, uh, sometimes in the region, um, in the regions that uh, are not expected uh, as uh, for the uh, hazard uh, on the published maps uh, or the, the maps in the United States, in California and in uh, 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 the whole of the country of United States. Uh, the published map of 2018 uh, is another uh, example, the regional uh, seismic hazard maps in uh, Europe and in Middle East uh, uh, are visible in this slide and you may see that uh, these regional uh, maps uh, which are developed in the GEM project uh, uh, are based on the existing uh, data and uh, the, uh, the values which are uh, calculated or um, based on generation of uh, uh, metadata and then compiling uh, the seismic hazard model for in a regional scale. I will explain uh, the, what has happened for the Middle East because I by myself have been involved and in charge uh, in a part of the studies. And this is the, uh, the maps uh, some of the maps uh, of India, our host country, uh, the, for this uh, interesting and fantastic uh, webinar, uh, the, one of the very early seismic hazard uh, zoning maps in the world have been 
uh, developed in uh, India in 1935 by Geological Survey of India. And uh, another example is given in the right side as uh, the map of 2002 published by National Disaster uh, Management Authority. Uh, and uh, but even in India, if you look at, uh, for instance, uh, such uh, map developed uh, for uh, uh, um, uh, regional scale uh, as um, for G shack project in uh, 1999, you may see that uh, in a region that uh, a moderate uh, hazard level has been expected uh, or uh, estimated. Uh, an earthquake of uh, magnitude 7.7 .7 has occurred in Buj, Gujarat, in uh, western India. Uh, and uh, therefore, uh, probably we may say that uh, uh, this uh, zonic map uh, published in um, 1999 was not uh, uh, optimized uh, for. Uh, representing the level in an earthquake uh, such as uh, Bush, Gujarat. You see here the location of the epicenter in Bush uh, and uh, uh, in Gujarat uh, where uh, the, there is a trust uh, mechanism, uh, uh, trust faulting and, and uh, um, um, as I told you, the, the level hazard was not expected as it has happened in uh, that uh, Western uh, sub uh, um, continent, uh, Indian subcontinent. Uh, and the, uh, there has been a, a great uh, fatalities and uh, damage in that um, earthquake. Or in Pakistan, uh, after the Muzaffarabad earthquake of 2005, uh, we have uh, we have had a field investigation and study uh, that earthquake occurred in a region in northern Pakistan in a region that uh, uh, level two of uh, seismic hazard uh, has been uh, presented uh, by uh, it was published by Pakistan Meteorological uh, Department in um, as of early 2000 but one month after the earthquake in um, 8 october uh, 2005 they have uh, uh, the, the geological survey of pakistan has published this uh, right side map on which the uh, location uh, of uh, the uh, balakot muzaffarabad earthquake uh, has present has been presented uh, as the highest uh, possible hazard in uh, hazard level in Pakistan. There, therefore, you see again that uh, the this level of uh, hazard is uh, calculated in a better way uh, in uh, uh, after the the earthquake. But before uh, uh, the earthquake, uh, the maps are not. Uh, uh, representing and estimating the uh, uh, real uh, expected hazards. Uh, this might be uh, um, essentially based on the lack of um, seismotectonic data and uh, 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 non sufficient uh, information uh, in order to provide the seismic hazard model. Uh, this is the epicentral uh, region, Balak Muzaffarabad uh, earthquake. Uh, we have uh, provided uh, the uh, with the pro prone area the the hazard uh, seismic hazard zoning map, uh, a seismic hazard uh, um, and uh, estimation, and this is the ISO intensity uh, and map we provided. Uh, in a very recent article published uh, in 2020 uh, in uh, reviews of geophysics, um, uh, we may see that 
probabilistic seismic hazard uh, analysis at regional and national scales uh, are presented uh, uh, and uh, compared in viewpoint of uh, available data for uh, uh, different uh, parameters. Uh, how the, uh, the seismic models have been uh, prepared. Uh, for instance, uh, in uh, Australia, Canada, Italy, Japan, New Zealand, Taiwan, United States, Europe, and uh, the state of California itself, the, the level of uh, uh, seismic uh, uh, parameters uh, for modeling are very different. For instance, in Taiwan, uh, these are the maps prepared mostly for the uh, national building codes and uh, 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 the insurance uh, industries and reinsurance industri industries. And uh, uh, we may see that, for instance, in the case of Taiwan uh, and uh, New Zealand, the, uh, the, the level of uh, different incorporation of different parameters are uh, very different to, for instance, uh, the country of Italy uh, or uh, Japan. And uh, but the results uh, of uh, such estimations are compared always, uh, and uh, take uh, they are taken into account for uh, the same purposes in. Um, construction and uh, land use planning and uh, other uh, applications of seismic hazard maps. In the same way, uh, the source, the sources of information are very different, but the uh, the result, the, the consequence is used more or less uh, the same in a uh, same uh, level for different, very different uh, per, uh, uh, applications. Uh, and this is a problem because uh, uh, the, the ending result is uh, uh, acceleration, uh, return period for, uh, uh, for instance, 475 years. Uh, and it is almost the same in uh, all of the seismic hazard maps, but the source data is very different, and the quality of uh, input data is uh, indeed very different in uh, 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 different part of the world. Uh, this is the uh, the the map of uh, G GPS derived horizontal velocity field uh, in uh, uh, Asia and uh, uh, Middle East. I mean, Central and Southern Asia and Middle East. And uh, you see uh, the different values of um, uh, the uh, slip rate, uh, horizontal velocity, uh, uh, and uh, this might be taken into account uh, as a result in the seismicity catalogs. Uh, for a regional scale, for instance, in the Middle East, we have taken uh, for in the GEM project global earthquake uh, model, we have taken uh, different national catalogs from Turkey, Pakistan, Syria, Egypt, Kuwait, uh, Georgia, Armenia, uh, and Iran, and uh, we have um, uh, provided a metadata which uh, you may uh, observe on this map and. Uh, 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 and then we have processed uh, this uh, catalog as the catalog of uh, earthquakes in Middle East. It uh, from the west in Turkey uh, to the east in uh, northern India and Pakistan and Central Asia. All of the seismicity data has been uh, included uh, for the same region. Uh, for this task force, uh, the catalog of seismicity, I by myself has been uh, have been in charge, and uh, uh, 
the, but uh, there have been other working groups, for instance, for um, the active fault map, which has been compiled for uh, this great region and uh, seismic uh, area sources, uh, which has been developed based on catalog and uh, active faults. And finally, this is our result as seismic hazard zoning of the uh, Middle East region, uh, in which uh, the uh, regions in Macron, for instance, in the coastline of uh, southeast uh, Iran and southwest of Pakistan, the hazard levels have been obtained uh, to be the maximum for the first time, because in the previous maps, uh, these uh, values has not been evaluated uh, for Macron to be as high as this uh, new map published in 2018. Uh, why? Because in this model, we have uh, incorporated, uh, incorporated uh, subduction uh, uh, faulting in uh, southeast Iran and southwest of uh, Pakistan. And um, okay, finally, uh, on this part, um, why uh, we use still the seismic hazard analysis? I, uh, are these uh, maps uh, useful or not? Yes. They are useful to evaluate the potential seismic hazard in an area to, uh, for good engineering design, building codes and standards, design critical structures such as dams and nuclear power plants, uh, in, uh, for uh, insurance uh, industries, uh, for reinsurance companies to evaluate their risk to major disasters, uh, and for government officials and land use planners, and for private companies as well. Therefore, seismic hazard uh, analysis is uh, a, 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 a well, a way, and a tool that is useful and should be still used. Uh, but we uh, um, should be uh, curious about the quality of the maps and the data that we incorporate uh, uh, um, in order to reevaluate and develop uh, the maps. In some cases, as I told you, the maps, such type of maps, has uh, clearly failed to predict the actual ground motions. Uh, for instance, in October, 30 October 2016, Amateur earthquake, magnitude 6.6, uh, or in Tokyo, Japan, 2011, earthquake. Uh, or in Haiti earthquake of January 2010, or Sichuan, China earthquake of 2008 with a magnitude 7.9, in Balakut, Pakistan earthquake of 2005 with a magnitude 7.6, or even in Tabas earthquake in Iran in 1978 with a magnitude 7.4. In all these cases, the previous published uh, hazard uh, maps are uh, has failed to uh, represent or predict the um, um, expected um, hazard and ground motion in uh, in a coming uh, earthquake, uh, which has occurred uh, afterward. For instance, in the case of Japan in 2010, the earthquake hazard map of Japan has, has been published. And if you look, uh, in the region that uh, the earthquake of Tohoku has occurred in uh, 2011 with a magnitude 9.1 uh, on the map published a year ago in January 2010, the uh, hazard uh, level was uh, ex uh, estimated to be low uh, uh, and uh, the less than 1.1% prob uh, percent probability of a strong motion with intensity 6 or higher uh, during next 30 years after January uh, 2010 has been uh, evaluated and published on this map, but in 
14 months later, the greatest ever recorded earthquake in Japan has occurred in the same area. We may uh, uh, all know that uh, Japan is uh, a country of earthquake research and they have uh, very sophisticated facilities in order to record and to very good scientists, uh, maybe uh, better than any uh, any way in the world uh, in order to um, uh, do research and uh, to uh, uh, provide uh, the, such type of maps. But even in the case of Japan, uh, we obtain such uh, deficiencies. Uh, and this is this is a reality. In Iran, we have a history of five decades of uh, seismic hazard uh, zoning from published map of uh, in 1977 up to uh, now. Uh, they have been the development of uh, hazard zoning maps and uh, it is a continuing even uh, way. And if you look on these uh, different maps, you uh, uh, observe that uh, the level of hazard and the distribution of um, hazard uh, 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 zones are uh, estimated uh, different each time that uh, the calculation has been performed. Even in the uh, hazard zoning map uh, 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 provided for the seismic building code of Iran, the, the first version uh, in 1987, the, it was a very simplified map, but uh, up to uh, now when we uh, 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 reached to the current version, uh, the maps uh, is provided in 2012. Uh, you see that uh, uh, very, uh, uh, important parts have been changed from since the first uh, version. Um, you may uh, pay attention to this central area region that we have changed it in uh, the Hazard Zoning Committee of uh, Seismic Building Code based on the uh, uh, earthquakes and uh, newer uh, uh, seismicity data and ground motion uh, data. Okay, the, there is a need for uh, constant review of hazard uh, models using updating and uh, completion and review of uh, data methods, uh, quantifying uncertainties, validation of hazard models. The, the main source, what is the main source of uh, instrumental uh, earthquake catalogs? The, the, or the, uh, seismic networks. We have two seismic networks uh, in Iran uh, by the IRSC and IAES uh, and about uh, 150 stations, uh, middle band and broadband uh, seismic stations. And uh, these are the uh, brief. Uh, the first station has been installed in 1958 uh, in the country and uh, it is a, a growing process, a developing uh, process. And the Iranian strong motion uh, network, uh, in which we have uh, more than 1,100 uh, stations and actually more than 12,000 exerograms, three component exerograms. It has been installed in 1973 and uh, during last uh, 40, uh, seven years, uh, the, the process, uh, the, the recording and process of data uh, has been continued. Uh, very recently, as of uh, 2020, uh, we have developed the seismic hazard zoning uh, uh, map of Iran based on new seismogenic uh, uh, sources uh, modeling. Uh, the first level of the data active pulse 
the faults, but also the geometry, segmentation, length, mechanism, azimuth, break, dip, dip direction, etc. And uh, we have included for uh, these information. Uh, such as Azimuth uh, classic catalogs. We have used the uh, very different uh, published uh, uh, catalogs. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, a very basic catalog has been published by late Professor Ambrosius and uh, Dr. Melvin in 1982. But very recently, uh, uh, the, these catalogs have been uh, um, uh, publishing uh, increasingly, and uh, the quality of the catalogs uh, is uh, uh, improving. Um, and, and actually, uh, we take um, three level of uh, um, data quality in our catalogs for our prehistoric uh, and historic data before 1900, uh, early instrumental earthquakes up to uh, 1964, and for modern instrumental data for uh, the period of the time after uh, 1964. Uh, and these are the uh, 155 documented historical seismicity in Iran and uh, instrumental seismicity up to 2020 for greater magnitude greater than four. Uh, and uh, this is the classification of earthquake depth. Uh, certainly, the, on this map, we have uh, uh, presented the uh, teleseismic depths, which are which you know that they are not uh, very uh, accurate because of teleseismic assessments. But uh, for the uh, strong earthquakes, means. Uh, magnitudes greater than six, uh, we uh, have included the, uh, the data uh, of relocation uh, studies. And um, earthquake mechanism, the focal mechanism, have been included in our new seismogenic source. Uh, but uh, uh, we added the geomagnetic field airborne geomagnetic data recorded uh, in the 70s. Uh, uh, you see that uh, the different levels of uh, uh, geomagnetic anomalies uh, in Iran, uh, gravity data, uh, the land gravity data recorded in 2005 uh, with 25 kilometer station spacing. Uh, uh, you may observe that uh, uh, great difference between, for instance, shorelines of Caspian Sea in northern Iran and shorelines of Macron in south uh, east of Iran, with the region of uh, High Zagros uh, uh, and uh, Sananda Sirjan uh, um, area in central and west of uh, the country. And uh, certainly the uh, geology data. Uh, the different uh, geology uh, uh, zones, geological uh, zones, and uh, satellite imagery information. For instance, the Landsat uh, data, which is compiled in Google Map, is uh, included in uh, on this map uh, uh, of uh, uh, Google Map, and uh, you see these twelve uh, different. Uh, um, um, levels of seismic source uh, in order to obtain a seismotectonic model of the country. And these are uh, the values uh, for which we uh, have tried to take the uh, same tectonic zones, uh, same uh, mechanism, and strike and deep direction. Uh, and uh, for the seismicity, we uh, consider the concentrated clusters, historical evidences, 
uh, of uh, for unknown or blind faults, uh, same depth uh, distribution, and we checked with other uh, data sets. Uh, as you may know, and I have um, explained briefly before, these are uh, uh, the uh, seismic uh, model, area source and uh, line source. Um, as for uh, uh, the uh, area source, we put the name, ID of, of the source and number of earthquakes. And for the line source, we put uh, the fault ID, uh, segment ID, and session name and ID for each uh, segment. And uh, for uh, structural parameters, we have tried to include uh, as much as possible the uh, uh, more detailed tectonic uh, information, such as uh, tectonic regime and uh, uh, macro, uh, uh, considered a macro zone and minimum maximum horizontal slip rate uh, and vertical slip rate uh, whenever possible to include. And uh, the uh, uh, strike deep, deep direction rake and minimum maximum depth for uh, area and uh, faults. Uh, and uh, for uh, um, uh, part of this, our model for uh, each seismogenic source zone, we have included the seismicity parameters such as Mmax, A, B value, and rate. Um, and, uh, um, and for the area sources, uh, M, uh, MC uh, as the threshold magnitude. Uh, and you see here the uh, uh, A value and uncertainty for uh, for the uh, and B value and its uncertainty are uh, represented on the on the map. And uh, this is our logic tree in order to cope with the epistemic uncertainties from maximum magnitude values uh, estimated based on the different. Uh, models and uh, observations to uh, uh, incorporation of area source and line sources, and finally for the ground motion models, attenuation models. For the attenuation model, ground motion model, we uh, uh, should take, and everybody should take attention to uh, pay attention to the development of strong motion databases uh, and uh, the way of processing uh, in Iran, as I uh, mentioned before, we have more than 1100 stations uh, and uh, actually more than 12,000 records all available from the website of BHRC, uh, the organization which is uh, uh, manipulating this uh, network. And this is the, the left side figure represent the uh, distribution of stations and uh, the right side uh, uh, is the uh, earth events uh, for which the uh, accelerograms are uh, recorded and uh, incorporated in our uh, studies. But even for such uh, type of uh, networks, strong motion networks and uh, databases, the national uh, data uh, uh, providers and the national networks are very different. For instance, in Italy, we, we have a densely uh, uh, installed strong motion network, but uh, for the uh, Persian Gulf uh, state of United Arab Emirates, it is in the very uh, preliminary phases, uh, the installation of uh, inst uh, strong motion stations. Uh, and in, um, but it is a, a global effort everywhere in the world uh, in order to uh, improve the uh, national and regional 
uh, strong motion networks in order to include uh, better uh, quality uh, uh, data and better understanding of the uh, uh, ground motion level and uh, uh, the way of uh, attenuation of uh, seismic waves. Uh, in, uh, in the uh, middle uh, 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 years of last decade, uh, there have been a, an effort in order to publish the engineering strong motion database for pan-European region. Pan-European means the Europe and the uh, surrounding countries and regions such as Middle East. And uh, uh, for uh, this uh, catalog, uh, I by myself have been uh, a member in order to develop such catalog, but uh, for the international uh, um, uh, level, uh, we have developed uh, some uh, uh, catalogs and databases for uh, strong motion data recorded in Iran. Uh, this is a view of what is developed as uh, pan-European accelerometric data published by uh, Lucia Luzzi in uh, Seismological Research Letters in 2016. And uh, this is a view of uh, uh, this uh, database, which is accessible in INGV uh, of Italy. It is a sophisticated and interesting uh, network uh, uh, and uh, database uh, for uh, European and Middle East uh, region. Uh, but as I mentioned before, for uh, the region of uh, uh, Iran and surrounding uh, 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 countries. We, uh, we have uh, uh, improved the uh, um, strong motion data analysis uh, in uh, very uh, different ways, uh, incorporating the uh, more important data, for instance, in, a, in an article published in 2016, uh, we published uh, 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 um, uh, a part of uh, the, the catalog, uh, uh, strong motion catalog, uh, after the processing, uh, using the uh, signal to noise ratio uh, in order to filter, to correct uh, uh, the data uh, and uh, obtain the uh, high pass and low pass filters and uh, estimation of uh, fundamental frequencies from uh, uh, H over V uh, amplification functions in which we could uh, observe the different site classes uh, uh, for uh, different records uh, uh, and uh, therefore we could distinguish the uh, strong motion stations uh, um, as for their uh, site condition. And uh, this is a view, uh, a part of that uh, catalog published in uh, 2016. But uh, for the other countries, uh, we have, uh, after the 2015 earthquake in uh, Gorkha, uh, Nepal earthquake with a magnitude 7.8, uh, we have visited uh, that region. Uh, the epicentral region and uh, um, this uh, is a result of our uh, study which is published uh, in 2016. Uh, uh, a part of this study uh, was field uh, report and observations, but uh, another part was focused on, uh, on a study of obtained uh, strong motion data in, uh, in the main shock and after shock, shock uh, shocks in uh, uh, recorded in Nat uh, uh, Katnap station in Kathmandu. Uh, this was the first uh, ever important earthquake recorded in Nepal, and uh, this is the uh, isoseismal map of the um, uh, 20. 
5th of April for a Nepal earthquake. Uh, uh, but uh, here you may see the, the list of available records from main shock and aftershocks for us. And this is a, a part of the results uh, we obtained. And in uh, using this study, we could understand that uh, these are the amplification functions for uh, different uh, records we have analyzed. Uh, uh, we could understand that in uh, that earthquake, a major uh, cause of uh, uh, damages, especially in the uh, histor uh, historical monuments and buildings in uh, Kathmandu uh, and in Kathmandu Valley was the site amplification due to, due to the uh, soil effect and was uh, the uh, uh, um, directivity effect as a source uh, effect uh, um, at the time, especially at the time of the main shock. And uh, these two parameters have uh, uh, intensified the level of seismic hazard in uh, 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 seismic intensity uh, at the city of Kathmandu during the earthquake. Uh, this should be notified that uh, 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 the records we had ac uh, access was uh, limited only to the city of Kathmandu and not uh, to the uh, all over the, uh, the Nepal, because uh, at that time the instrument uh, has been existed only in Kathmandu. And uh, this may show that then we have uh, even a very few uh, stations, we may obtain interesting results uh, in order to understand what is the uh, real uh, uh, earthquake hazard level uh, and what might be uh, a realistic estimation for in the future uh, if an earthquake uh, uh, occurs in the same area. Uh, for the Another region, uh, region in uh, Southeast Asia, for instance, in Malaysia, uh, one of my previous PhD students, uh, Dr. Boaz Shushtari, in uh, Malaysia uh, uh, Technical University, uh, has uh, studied the uh, seismic hazard uh, assessment of the uh, uh, peninsula of Malaysia. Uh, under the supervision of myself and Professor Adnan Aznan from that university. And uh, for that uh, uh, study, we observed that uh, a real uh, clash is and uh, um, obstacle is the, um, um, the gap of data. Uh, we needed the data in order to provide the model, but uh, in uh, the Malaysia and uh, surrounding region, there have been very few uh, recorded accelerograms. Uh, therefore, we should take the data from um, Japan, Iran, uh, uh, um, India, and uh, other uh, regions for which the data was available. Uh, finally, we could. Uh, 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 take 531 strong motion records from subduction interest slab events uh, with the moment magnitude 5 to 7.7 for the distances between 122 up to 1400 kilometers. And uh, we could obtain empirical relationships for, for uh, peak and spectral uh, values for different site classes. In, uh, in fact, uh, in that Southeast Asia region, uh, a, a source of uncertainty is the lack of information on uh, strong ground motion. And uh, this source uh, of uh, uh, possible deficiency in seismic hazard analysis uh, still exists. Uh, this is a view of what we obtained at the end of that uh, study as the attenuation model for two types of uh, 
uh, site classes for peak ground acceleration. Uh, um, um, and very recently, we uh, have published uh, uh, a new empirical ground motion model for Iran in uh, BSSA, Bolton of Seismological State of America, uh, in which we have tried to, in order uh, to include uh, uh, the more sophisticated uh, um, strong motion catalog uh, and uh, to incorporate ge the geometric uh, uh, data uh, uh, size sources, especially for the faults, and uh, uh, site classes. I mean, uh, more sophisticated database for site classes. And the result we obtain is, uh, seems to be, very recently, seems to be uh, uh, a little bit different from what we obtained before. Uh, in new models, when we incorporate our new model, we, uh, uh, for instance, one of the uh, sources of difference is uh, 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 certainly the seismogenic, uh, seismogenic model in which uh, uh, great attention has been paid to seismotectonic uh, parameters and to the uh, geophysical and geological uh, uh, parameters in order to to model the seismic sources, and uh, as you see on this uh, the map on this map, uh, for the regions we have less uh, seismicity rate, but the possibility of uh, strong earthquakes, we obtain higher level of seismic hazard, and unfortunately, bad news for uh, my compatriot is uh, the. Uh, some parts of this high level of uh, higher level of seismic hazard is around Tehran, the capital of the country, which is the most concentrated uh, region in viewpoint of population, and uh, therefore the risk uh, of uh, earthquake hazard is the highest in the in such region. For the future trends, okay, we have ex uh, explained about. Uh, the source of deficiencies in seismic hazard maps and why we should uh, develop yes, models, new seismic models in order to have a better uh, quality seismic uh, hazard uh, uh, zoning maps. Uh, for the future trends, it seems that uh, physics-based ground motion simulations uh, might be used. Uh, we should incorporate seismic gaps of important faults. Uh, effects uh, are very important in order to be include, uh, uh, including the significant effect of ground motions uh, in the vicinity of a seismic source. And site effect and soil amplification is uh, still uh, an obstacle in hazard modeling because uh, for most of the regions, we do not have enough data in order to model the uh, real expected uh, soil amplification level. And the uh, use of novel methods such as Monte Carlo uh, uh, macro chain to qualify, quantify parametric uncertainty in hazard modeling. Uh, for the end of uh, my presentation, I uh, uh, present you a proposal for the future, a comprehensive seismic hazard zoning for the South Asian region. Uh, we know that uh, there are regional and global seismic hazard maps, but uh, as I have explained, there have been major earthquakes uh, for instance, in Afghanistan 2015, in uh, Pakistan 2005, uh, BAM, Iran in uh, 2003, and in Gorkha, Nepal 2015, in uh, Burj, Gujarat, India 2001, for which the, these maps were not capable to 
a seismic hazard. And meanwhile, we have major metropoles in the Middle East and South Asia, such as Tehran, Istanbul, Mumbai, Dhaka, Karachi, Kabul, and in uh, all over the world, we have uh, the hazardous areas in which uh, we may uh, see uh, uh, major uh, cities and mega cities, such as uh, uh, Northern uh, America, Central and Southern America, and uh, these regions are important because seismic hazard is important in the vicinity uh, of these uh, great cities. Uh, it seems that in order to uh, develop new uh, hazard zone uh, maps, it should compile the existing catalogs, uh, global and national historical uh, data, reevaluate the uh, historical catalogs, incorporate new sources of information, and this is uh, a major task force uh, for, the, for the future. Uh, uh, obtain a specific ground motion models for South Asia, uh, and we should develop tools for mapping local site conditions based on VS30 uh, proxies uh, and uh, using uh, the shallow geology and topography maps and uh, uh, assembling such seismicity, ground motion, geology, and other available databases, we uh, may understand that uh, 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 what, uh, what is the suitable uh, ground motion model for peak ground motion and, and spectral values, site amplification, uh, noise behavior, and uh, to model seismic hazard. And uh, this effort in order to obtain the realistic uh, seismic hazard uh, level is uh, uh, to, in order to help uh, and to assist the earthquake risk assessment. Uh, uh, the, the result of all these um, challenges uh, uh, should be uh, better uh, uh, assessment of seismic hazard and uh, good quality earthquake risk assessment uh, in the human uh, communities. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and uh, I am ready for uh, your questions and uh, to answer uh, you. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir, for nicely describing about the different controlling factors that are important for seismic hazard analysis. Now, Assistant Civil President Professor J.R. Kyle for his opinion. About the doc Professor J.R. Kyle. Thank you, Santanu. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Professor Chari. Your lecture had been so magnificent, illustrious, and so illuminating. We are really very much overwhelmed with your with your lecture and you have shown why the low old seismic hazard maps need to be you know upgraded you have with enough examples you have shown that and you have also shown how you know huge network and huge network of broadband and huge network of strong motion instruments can help you to update your Iran seismic hazard map and almost every 10 years you are updating the maps. So I think this is a great lesson for all of us across the world that you know we should not sit tight with a single seismic hazard map which has been done. Say for example our last seismic hazard map, most updated seismic hazard map has been you know, updated in 2002 is almost 18 years. 
so we are very much fascinated with your with your deep knowledge and you know the insight into the problem i think uh, it would be great idea to really collaborate with you and to learn you know something from you you are a very knowledgeable and very experienced person in seismic hazard maps uh, making seismic hazard maps of uh, globally and also locally thank you so much i think with this i stop here and i hand over the platform to dr santanu i think there will be some questions so santanu please yes thank you very much sir uh, on my request uh, mr mr prasidjo for the question and answer session over to prasidjo yes thank you sir uh, thank you professor jari for such a wonderful uh, talk i am now going to read out the questions from the participants in the first question is can you uh, throw some light about 12 november 2017 iraq earthquake its location on hazard map of iran and its after shock pattern thank you very much this is a very good question and um, uh, i should uh, let me put uh, my uh, earphone uh, in order to have to have uh, sir quality your voice uh, this is a very good question uh, in fact uh, in uh, in iran i may show you that uh, uh, that earthquake in 2017 was uh, occurred in a region that uh, uh let me put one of these maps uh, again uh, for instance here on our uh, uh, hazard uh, zonic map uh, you may see that uh, that earthquake in the 2017 has occurred in our uh, second uh, i mean level of uh, hazard uh, uh, expected uh, hazard and uh, uh, we may uh, confess that uh, uh, the our hazard maps could not uh, expect uh, such level of seismic hazard in that region why because the information uh, the seismotectonic information in uh, zagros area uh, was not uh, sufficient and, uh, i do believe that still it is not sufficient in order to uh, represent uh, a good uh, uh, seismic hazard uh, assessment for that region of western zagros the earthquake has occurred in um, Uh, in the depth uh, of uh, 18 kilometers in the bedrock and uh, based on a fault which are, which have been almost uh, horizontal means uh, a very slow uh, deep uh, of 16 degree uh, toward uh, east and uh, this means that uh, uh, the rupture could not appear Uh, at the surface at all and uh, 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 and almost nobody could expect uh, such a major 7.3 earthquake in that region of sarpol zahab extreme uh, east of uh, west of uh, iran uh, this this is another uh, point to uh, to uh, Uh, show that the uh, hazard uh, zoning maps are still incomplete and uh, 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 all of the hazard zoning maps are incomplete but uh, uh, when a major earthquake uh, happens uh, everybody may ask uh, why uh, the hazard zoning map has not uh, Uh, um, estimated uh, um, sufficiently that earthquake. Uh, 
کیونکہ You are not audible. No, I think next question. Professor Zare, you are not audible. Uh, I, I I have a stop because uh, my comment is finished. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, next question, please. Yes. Okay, I am proceeding to the next question. Uh, why the two seismic donation map generated in a given year, say 2012, shows some dissimilarities? I couldn't get your second question. May you repeat it? Yes, sir. Uh, why did two seismic donation map generated in a given year, say 2012, show some dissimilarities? Because uh, the the values have been uh, the the value of uh, uh, hazard have been. Uh, that has been newly uh, available at that time. Uh, and the uh, data included the, the uh, recent, uh, most recent earthquakes, such as BAM earthquake, such as uh, the earthquakes occurred in 2005, and uh, 2011, and uh, all of these earthquakes have been uh, the source uh, of uh, a lot of stronger motion. And therefore, these uh, new values uh, impose us uh, uh, a new uh, way of uh, um, uh, thinking and uh, 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 um, yeah, try to incorporate uh, these um, new evaluations. Uh, on the other hand, uh, during the years of 2000 up to 2010, there have been uh, Iranian sites such as uh, uh, dams and uh, uh, important facilities uh, for which uh, we could uh, obtain a lot of uh, results and uh, uh, hazard estimations. And we uh, studied all of these reports as well. Therefore, all of these uh, uh, new sources of information made us to uh, uh, imposed us to uh, to make such uh, changes. I finished. Next question. Uh, next question, please. Yes, sir. The next question is: How do you develop in a stable continental region where seismicity is very low? However, we cannot neglect the occurrence of large magnitude SCR earthquake. Uh, it is a one million dollar question. <laughs> Uh, it is uh, uh, it is uh, very difficult to do such assessment, but normally we uh, uh, use uh, the the values of uh, 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 geological and seismotectonic uh, parameters uh, in order to uh, to put uh, the uh, uh, the as much as the uh, uh, seismicity and geological parameters, uh, fault geometry. Uh, uh, such as fault geometry and uh, uh, the, the data uh, representing the uh, uh, crustal conditions in that moderate or low seismicity region, and finally, we uh, we tend to uh, I think that we should uh, approach to uh, physics-based uh, models uh, and simulations for um, that uh, uh, low uh, seismic 
uh, regions or the regions having uh, low data. And based on that uh, uh, simulations, we uh, may hope to uh, obtain, uh, if, uh, I mean, uh, a, a good assessment. Thank you. I finished. Yes, sir. The Do next you have question any more questions? Is, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, one last question, sir. How successful do you think are ZAM and OpenQuake initiative? What would be the way forward for them? Oh, it, um, uh, I think that this, the, the level of success, it depends on very different parameters. It, uh, it does, uh, I, I do believe that it is not uh, really a, a matter of uh, technology or a matter of uh, um, um, uh, um, only um, uh, greater amount of data. This is really a, a problem of uh, expertise and uh, uh, how to incorporate uh, the uh, more sophisticated data uh, in order to have better models. It, I do believe that these are the main sources of uh, the uh, successful, a successful um, um, hazard model, not uh, necessarily the uh, the uh, uh, the level of the expected uh, uh, um, um, hazard based on a, uh, a new uh, software or technology. Uh, very simply, uh, we may say that uh, better uh, um, data uh, and better uh, geology, uh, you know, from your region, uh, you may model better. And if you model better, you may expect to, to have uh, uh, better seismic source, not uh, uh, especially, uh, but the seismic source is not the, the end of the story because uh, uh, ground motion model or the attenuation model is a, a, a major point. How to use uh, and which type of attenuation model are used from your side. This is uh, another uh, source of uh, uncertainty or uh, reli reliability of your assessments. These are the, I, I do believe that these are the major uh, source of uh, uh, the um, um, your success. I finish. Yes, sir. That's all the questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor, for nicely answered the questions from the participants. Now, may I request uh, Dr. Gotom for a vote of thanks. Okay. About Dr. Gotom. Thank you very much. I am very much delighted to uh, be here to propose the vote of thanks. Uh, I have to change my PC actually due to some technical error. So I am very much delighted to propose the vote of thanks uh, on this occasion. Uh, before going into detail, I would like to thank the organizing committee for organizing these events and creating such a base of knowledge sharing. So I offer my sincere sense of gratitude on behalf of this institute and also on behalf of this organizing committee to Professor Mehdi Jare of Iran for being with us today and sharing his uh, tremendous knowledge on the his topics 
of Matrix Hazard. Thank you very much, sir. Your lecture has showered us a lot of knowledge on this topic. Thank you very much, Dr. Professor J. Kyle, sir, for sharing this session. You have been always with us during this type of knowledge gatherings. Thank you, sir. Thanks goes to Dr. Saurabh Bora, sir, for co-chairing the sessions. Sincere gratitude to Professor G. Narahari Sastri, Director CSI and NIST, for being so supportive and encouraging us for organizing this event. Thank you very much. Thanks goes to the convener of this organization, of this organizing committee, Dr. Santanu Borua, for organizing this event. Thank you very much. And also thanks goes to the participants without whom this event would have been a failure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to appreciate uh, the organization committee and the uh, participants. And uh, I want to, to say that this was a great chance for me in order to be in contact. And uh, I uh, uh, take myself as a representative of Iranian uh, uh, scientific community uh, to, uh, to declare our readiness to uh, collaborate in very different level of uh, uh, scientific activities in earthquake uh, science and uh, in order to include uh, uh, and uh, share our knowledge with uh, you and uh, from, uh, in India and all over the world. Uh, therefore, uh, this is uh, a chance uh, for me and this has been uh, a great experience uh, to uh, attend in a webinar uh, maybe uh, we should uh, 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 think about new conditions and a new uh, way uh, of uh, communication and this is a, a new era after 2020 to communicate and together uh, uh, this uh, this is a new reference and uh, thank you very much uh, from everybody who heard and uh, watched me and uh, my presentation from uh, all over the world. Uh, thank you. Uh, and uh, if uh, there is no more comment or question, I uh, uh, tell you goodbye and see you in uh, uh, future uh, occasions in, uh, on, in the other uh, occasions in order to uh, discuss uh, more about the uh, uh, earthquake uh, problems. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Professor Jerry. Thank you so much. Thanks for everything. Thank you. And uh, if it is uh, all.